Integers. 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 Integers are any of the positive or negative natural numbers or zero. An integer is not a fraction. What I'm doing here is drawing a number line. I'm going to put a few of the integers on it. The one, two, three, four, and five that you see are positive integers. The zero is an integer, and I'm going to draw some of the negative integers. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, and negative five. A small example of a number line. This is an example of an integer problem, or equation. Three minus five. Start at three, take away five. Always to the left when we take away. End up at negative two. Three minus five equals negative two. Another example. Five minus eight. Start at the five. Move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces to the left. Take away eight, end up at negative three. Using a number line can be a great strategy for a young person to begin honing their skills with integers, but it will get tedious when the numbers get much larger. For example, 29 minus 86 is negative 57. The word and, you'll hear me use it a lot. Five and negative nine. A small number minus a larger number will always result in a negative answer. A small number like five, take away nine, negative four. 11 and negative 13. A small number minus a larger number, negative two. Three and negative six, or three minus six, equals negative three. A small number minus a larger number. The same thing with four minus eight. Small number minus a larger number, negative 4. 10 and negative 16. 10 minus 16 is negative 6. This skill will help you a great deal all throughout the year and in your mathematical career if you can get it mastered. 2 minus 16, small number minus a larger number, negative 4. Look at these equations and see what you see that are similar about the ones between the lines. Remember the word and. The top one, negative 3 and 5. You'll see by the answers to these questions that they are the same exact question. 5 minus 3 and negative 3 plus 5 are the same question. Negative 15 plus 26, 26 minus 15, same question. Same with the bottom two there. I'll talk about money a lot when we talk about integers. It's a great way to understand it. Here we have five. You have five dollars. That's the good news. But you owe nine. You have five dollars, but you owe nine dollars. You have to pay someone nine dollars. Think about what that means, what your situation would be. Five, the money you have, minus nine, the money you owe. You're going to wind up owing. You can pay the five dollars that you have, but you owe four, and we indicate that we owe with a negative symbol. Five minus nine is negative four. Another example, here you owe five dollars. You must have bought something from a friend. But you get paid 13 for cutting some lawn or doing some work around the house. So you start by owing five dollars and then get paid 13. Think about your situation. Started owing five, but you got paid. So you pay the five that you owe and you have some left over. How much you got left over? In this case, you have eight left. You owed five dollars and got paid 13. Now you have five. They call that being in the black. Some practice. We owe seven dollars, get paid ten dollars. Pay the seven we owed, and we have three left over. 
start out owing $2, get paid $14, and you'll end up with $12 after you pay the two you owed. Here we started owing six and only got paid three, so we still owe some money. We still owe three. Again, and, negative three, and eight. Negative three is your debt. Eight is the amount that you have or got paid. You can put it in a different order. When there's just two numbers like this, it works every time. Now, negative three plus eight is a difficult problem for a lot of kids. But 8 minus 3 is a very simple problem, and it's the exact same question. 8 and negative 3 equals 5. Simple once you learn it. Negative 10 and 21. Same thing as 21 and negative 10. 21 minus 10 is 11. Very simple. Negative 4 and 13. Same thing as 13 and negative 4. Again, an easy problem. Negative 2 and 6. Again, same thing as 6 and negative 2. You'll have 4. And the last one, negative 12 and 15. Same question as 15 and negative 12. Which, of course, is 3. So why are integers so important? You're going to have to do some algebra, like it or not. And the only skill you need to have is integers. Here you have 2x minus 3x, which is the same as 2 minus 3, which is negative 1. Here you have negative 7 plus 10. You're combining like terms. That's 3. There's another integer problem, 3 minus 9. That's negative 6. You just did three integer problems just to begin this one algebra equation. It's called an algebraic expression. Now to move on with the question, you have to do more integer problems. Positive 3 minus 3 and negative 6 minus 3. Still don't have the question solved yet, but we've solved five integer problems just on this one algebraic expression. Get good with integers, and algebra is a breeze. I checked my answer, it worked, 9 is right. Please pause the video and write down your answers to these five questions. See if you can remember what you just learned in the video. Now do the same. Please pause the video again and write your answers down before you see the answer key, which will follow. Remember. Okay, get your answers ready. The answer key is coming. I hope your answers match those. Pretty sure I got them right. Thank you and watch again.